Hello everyone, sorry to my uh, yo-yo viewers, I'm going to be doing a peace out video. Yeah, so I'll just put a yo-yo over here. And yeah, so the peace out. It's a microcontroller and um, you just plug it into the computer like so, via USB. And you can program this using a program called um, peace out creator and it can do a lot of things. You can make a robot, you can do a heart rate monitor. There's a lot of possibilities. But yeah, I'm just going to teach you how to do um, the blinking LED in this video. Um, but to get started, um, of course you need a piece of, it's about $15. Um, you also need header pins. Uh, have I got them? Header pins, okay, they look kind of like this. So you can get them pretty cheap on eBay. Header pins. Um, the breadboard is probably good. Actually, for the LED, you don't need the header pins, but it's good to have them anyway, so you can plug it in. And USB extension is always good. Um, yeah. So, firstly, we'll just plug it in and open up VSOC Creator. Okay. Peace Out Creator is um, free to download. So yeah, I've got it open here and I'm just going to make a new project, file new project. And you choose your device. Now I've already plugged it in. I'm not sure if this is from my old project, but your um, Peace Out, the model number, is written on the Peace Out here. You can see it uh, above the chip here. Yeah, uh, you probably can't see that, but anyway, if you have your piece hook, you can see. Anyway, look for that, make sure you choose the right one. Um, yeah, okay, we got next. Uh, empty schematic. Whatever, you can name it whatever you want, but I'll just leave it. And yeah, so here we go, it goes straight to the top design. So this is where you drag your components on. So for um, the um, LED light, we're just going to have a pin. So if I just search for pin, we've got a digital output pin. So we are going to be writing to this pin, um, but we're not going to have a hardware connection. So you can um, drive uh, an uh, like a physical LED, not on the VSOC, um, but you'll need like a resistor as well. So make sure you do the calculations and use the right resistors. So we're going to remove hardware connection and press OK. So if you look here, it's called pin 1. Now, if you click on that, you can see here's a data sheet and it'll open uh, up the PDF showing you like what um what the pin does really um uh, make sure you read this you check it out for any components what we're interested is in the apis application programming interface so if we check it out we've got pin read pin write etc okay that's what's going to be useful to us it tells you what it does okay so yeah okay let's go back um Press OK. Now I don't want to call it pin 1, I want to call it LED. Uh, maybe LED blink. Make sure you have good naming, I don't know, I'm going to call it that. Save it. I'm going to build the design first. Now this will take a while every time you change something on this top design. But yeah, that's OK. So while that happens, we have to allocate the pins, okay? So the LED on here is pin 2.1, I believe. So if you if you look underneath the LED light over here, you can see it says 2.1. Look on your um, piece of yourself. So you might notice there is another 2.1 over here, which says LED under it. So those two are connected internally. So if you drive that pin, the LED will turn on and whatever they're connected yep so yeah um anyway so this blinking um, light is from my previous program but we'll make that a 
I've changed that. Okay, so now after you've put it in top design, you go to pins. Like that. Okay, pins. All right, now this is your pin. Yeah, so we want 2.1. So it's P pin 2, bracket 1. So that's uh, equivalent to the 2.1 on the PSOC. So we have that. We save that. And then we need our program, our main. So this is where our program goes. This is C code. So if you're not familiar with C, maybe um, learn C first and then come back to PSOC. Uh, it's pretty simple though. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to write to the bin, okay? So um, what we're going to do is pause our thing called our LED blink. All right, uh, LED blink. All right, so you see it's got lots of things you can do with it, but we're interested in right. Okay, LED blink right, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna invert it. So not LED blink read. So what's happening here is you're taking the opposite of what the current value is, and you're writing it to, to the LED blink, okay? So you're writing it to that pin, and that will happen in an infinite for loop, but we don't want it to be so quick, so we're going to put a delay. CY delay, and let's say 500 milliseconds, okay? I believe there is a CY delay microseconds, yep, that's microseconds, so if you want to use microseconds instead, you can do that. But anyway, that's done. Okay, it's simple as that, and you just have to program it. Control F5, or press this thing, I normally press that. It's gonna... Oh, because I didn't um, assign the pin before I built it before. So if you change a pin, or you add something to the top design, it's gonna take a while every time. Oops, I moved the USB cable, don't do that. Alright, let's try again. Okay, now it's finished. Alright, look at that. That's blinking every um, 500 milliseconds. So if you want to change it, for example, every, every 100 milliseconds, you just type in 100 and reprogram. So watch how fast the programming is. And done. So if you don't change anything in there, it just built just like that, and here you go, 100 millisecond blink. So yeah, um, endless possibilities with the piece of. Yeah, hope you found this video useful. I'll be doing a few more videos, make sure you check them out. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.